guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing another model talk video. And of this time, and at this time, it's the Panther Tit. It's my first German 1 to 35th skill German tank from Tamiya. I think I said. Anyways, um, I'm pretty sure this is an Alsf A. And I don't think this is supposed to be able to move. Oh, well, it actually is supposed to be able to move. So it's one of these ones. Anyways, so I got this one for Christmas in 2021. First year that I was doing models. Now this was my, uh, this I have memories of building. And of, of course not of painting, but... Anyways, um, so th I'm pretty sure this is an also A, it's just kind of the more common Tamiya Panther tank, nothing special about it really, other than it's a Panther tank. Um, anyways, tow cables suck, mostly because, um, kits are uh, there, um, not even really glued on right, as you can tell. They're glued on too much. They're bent way too horribly. And this is all my fault, by the way. And I don't even know if... Anyways, um... Yeah, I, I did a horrible job on it. And this is different. Um, I don't think I... I didn't even do the back of it right. Well, I don't know. But, um... Anyways, uh... This one, uh, okay, so, I, ex when I was building it, I accidentally glued the barrel into place, so, it can't move. Uh, you can tell about the, uh, spare tracks, I didn't have anything like that before. I painted the, uh, I went back. I go back on my model sometimes, and on this one, I made the fenders look weird. Or maybe I did that as soon as I got it. Anyways, um, this, I lost the part that goes on top, which I like better than the one that's just one piece, but... I uh, like on my newer Panther tank. Anyways, um, this is not a slide mode, though. That's what I like about the one I'm building right now. Of course, um, different hatch. Anyways, the figures I have a story on. Now, they still look horrible, but when I was getting the shelf put in, one of them anyways, um, so back then when I was getting the shelf put in, I would have my figures outside of the tank. So I liked having the hatches removable and stuff. Now, I, if I have to, I glue them in place. But, um, so yeah, while they are drilling it, I lost a few things. I lost these two figures. And I lost the turret to my T-3485, the T-3476 variant, because that uh, airfix kit came with both. Still haven't found the turret. Uh, at least I still have a T-3485. Anyways... So I eventually found both of them in the same thing. Then I repainted the skin tone, which it hardly even looks like I did now because of how horrible it looks. But anyways, this was pretty mediocre. I love the actual kit. I mean, I don't remember if it's really cool or not now since it's been about like at least one one year. Um, sorry, my lights keep falling down. I probably need to do something more permanent to hold them up. But, anyways, um, as far as, I mean, it's pretty much basic. I didn't have all the tools. I stapled them together haphazardly. It could be an RC tank. There's the remains to the decal. That's supposed to go back here. Yeah, anyways, this is glued, which it didn't have to be. 
this is supposed to be glued due to kit. If you keep telling me to. Anyways, staples about to come out. And yeah, it's pretty much the kit. I mean, it's it was cool for the time I had it, but now I wish I built it better. That's why I like I wanted to get another Panther tank. And uh, yeah, anyways. I mean, overall, this is a pretty good kit, and I would recommend it for people. Well, I don't, I can't say that I recommend it because I don't remember. I remember building one of these things, one of the things full of tools. That's all I remember building. I re and, like, I remember I used to have this way up higher, but I took the whole thing, the whole mantlet off, and then glued this so it was down lower facing more straight forward than up. Thankfully I didn't do the same thing on my other panther tank, although I did have problems on the mantlet too, because I probably screwed something up, but I ended up fixing it to the way that it was supposed to be. Even, I think that this one was probably glued on wrong too. I don't remember. And I don't think, I have the instructions I think, but I don't honestly want to go get them. Anyways, it's this is a pretty good tank in general, you know. I mean, nothing is wrong with um, how it's built or how it's designed or anything, I don't think. But, uh, I just wish I did it better. Um, anyways, that's gonna be pretty much it. So, uh, have a good day. Goodbye.